My name is Michelle Sicari. And my name is Michael Batu. And we're Habitat Heroes. Ten Heroes. Batu with Wells Fargo Advisors, and I'm a financial advisor. My name is Michelle Sicari. I'm also with Wells Fargo Advisors as a financial advisor and local leader. My relationship with Habitat starts back, I believe, around 2009, where a good friend of mine who is a board member uh, is David Woodburn, and he brought us into, into the fold. And so Michael brought the Wells Fargo family into that participation also in 2009 when we started to represent or sponsor Habitat through our Wells Fargo Housing Foundation. So the firm's position at that point was if uh, we have volunteers on the ground who donate the time, then the firm will back it with the dollars. And we've been able to raise, I want to say, almost half a million dollars since then. I would say my fondest memories are also around the build days. Um, as, a, as a manager for our local offices, personally myself, it gives me a chance to get out with the people that I work with every day and really get to know them more on a personal level. And we just have so much fun together. And you know, I think a lot of people think they want to volunteer for Habitat or think they want to build, but they're intimidated by the build itself and the fact that they may not have skills or they may not have the tools. And the site supervisors at Habitat, I haven't found one that hasn't been just so good with all of the volunteers ranging from every level of experience. Habitat is just the cause. It's about uh, you know you meet the, meeting the families and and seeing them working so hard to improve their own situation. And sometimes the circumstances are difficult, and to be able to give them an, them an opportunity to own a home and pay it off after 30 years. I, I would agree, especially when you see the pride in the work that they're doing on their home. And then when you do get to learn more about those in, as individuals, okay. But really, I think one of the most touching moments is when the keys get turned over to the homeowner. And I tell you, a few times there's not been a, a dry eye in the room. Everybody's been, 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 I would say, tearing up. We get to see a lot of the beginning of the process. What's also nice is we've had some deed burnings. And so to think that these people have been paying already for 20 or 30 years is outstanding. And they've, they've reached their goal, They're, they've been successful. Reflecting back on all of these years of building homes for Habitat, how important affordable, safe housing is in a community and for these for individuals that, that are so lucky to get the home too. Uh, you know, they put their sweat equity into it, they pay their mortgage every month, but affordable, safe housing is extremely important. And it couldn't be done without volunteers like Michelle here, or, or myself, or the other people that I work with, or the staff here at Habitat, from the building supervisors, and it goes all the way up to, to Rochelle as the, as the president. And when you go down a street, you can pick out what is the Habitat house, because usually it's the nicest house on the street. It really is. I'm also on the Family Selection Committee, so I think um, it's a different perspective when you meet the people who are applying for uh, the privilege of owning a home, and just walking them through those first steps of what are the expectations, going to their homes and looking and seeing where they are and how they're living and what they're struggling with is a good reminder of how, how much of an impact this mission has. They'll provide the tools, they'll give you the, the skills and teach you how to do it. But really at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's the mission that Habitat provides that really makes the impact in, in the community uh, for, for everyone. And it's, it's only possible because of, I think, because of volunteers. And I tell people, you don't have to have a lot of skill. They'll teach you. But the other thing that we also need for Habitat is, you know, we, we do need individuals who will also be so willing to, uh, you know, to, to donate money to. It's very important to the mission because it helps build houses. So we are very thankful to all of those corporate and individual sponsors out there.